Hey you guys, it's Megan. I am so excited about this video and of course let's start off good with a hair in the face. Um, I am going to do a new seasonal project. I'm so, so excited. I thought these products through and I think that this is going to be so fun. So my friend, my awesome, awesome friend on here, Tatum, oh my god girl, you're one of my favorite people in the universe. Tatum texted me this morning. I just actually got out of church when she texted me. It was so sad. One of my favorite priests is being moved to a different church and it's like, why do you have to take the best people from me? But so we were like waiting in line to say goodbye to him and stuff and I was checking my phone and Tatum texted me and was like, what about for a longer project do 13 by Halloween? And I was like, like my mind exploded like I just wanted to like do a little like jig but I was at church so um <laughs> it was so exciting when she texted me that so I of course am going to do that as you can tell from my excitement what the heck my computer has a mind of its own just one moment WTF okay so that was weird I don't know what just happened there but Obviously, I'm doing Finish 13 by Halloween, which, oh my god, I just love that Tatum so much. So we, I figured this out using my math skills, we have four months for this project, which I think is a good amount of time. I like, I realized through doing different types of projects, shorter projects, longer projects, middle projects, I like some short projects, like my project Use It Up, I like short, but then I also like longer projects. So this I think is going to be a really good project. I'm really, really excited about it. So I picked 13 products that I really hope that I can use up in four months. So I have a lot of makeup, but I have a few like skincare things as well that I wanted to use up before the end of this year anyhow. So Oh my god, I'm excited. And for some reason, I have Amber. I don't know if you guys have ever met Amber. Um, I probably have shown her in my vlogs and stuff, but I have had Amber since I was a little girl, and she's like my best friend. So she is joining us today. She's going to sit on my lap um, while we go over the products. So let's get into it. I am putting in two foundations because these are my only two foundations that I still want to use up and I wouldn't repurchase. So I'm going to try to use up the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and I marked where I am about. So I have that much left. And then I just started using the Annabelle Skin True Natural Ivory, Natural Lightweight Makeup. So this is like completely full. And I'm wearing these today, I mix them together, and I think that they look nice. So I thought that since I'm mixing them together anyhow, that is how I really get through skin products. That's how I was able to use up all of my BB creams last year, and that is going to be how I will use these up. So I think four months, hopefully I continue to like the mixture if I don't, and if I hate it, I won't mind just getting rid of these, but I will try to use this up as much as possible and not buy new foundations until I do that because once I use those up, I am good. I only have the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, which is absolutely incredible, and then my Guerlain for special occasions, and I love both of those. And then I have, I just recently got the MAC Face and Body, so I have some that I really like that I definitely am going to continue to use and then some that I'm just kind of trying out but these two I've had for quite a while and I'm going to use these up so that will make me happy when I finally use those up. Then I really want to use up my Benefit Creaseless Cream in RSVP. So this is a small size that my friend Natasha sent me earlier this year and I've been using this pretty regularly for the past few months and I love it. It's the perfect like pinky champagne color these RSVP or these um creaseless cream shadows are my absolute favorite cream shadow formula and my favorite color of all time is birthday suit which I am going to purchase for my birthday next month I'm so excited um and I know that I will enjoy using this until it's all used up and I definitely do want to use it up 
because it is a smaller size, it's more likely that I'll be able to use it up in this amount of time, but it's still, I don't really know, like the RSVP, I keep getting everything confused. The Benefit Birthday Suit took me years to use up the full size, and even though this is a smaller size, you don't need a lot. So this will be kind of an experiment just to see how long this lasts and takes, but I do definitely want to try to use this up before at least the end of the year. So hopefully during this project, it, it gets used up. Then I'm putting in two eyeshadows, which <laughs> both of these have been in projects before, so it's just going to be a continuation of seeing if I can do it. So this was in my Finish 6 by Summer, and this is the Little Dior Montagne little mini eyeshadow palette, and these are all like matte sort of satiny shades in just really really basic colors so I do have a few like some dips in some of them but I honestly forget about this so much that I wasn't able to make progress on this so I really hope to train myself or something to remember that it exists so I use it whenever I'm doing my eyeshadow as like a transition or as a blending or as an inner corner or a liner so just trying to at least hit pan on some of those colors or something. Then this is, I don't really know what's gonna happen with this. This is my NARS Ondine shadow, which was in one of my project pans last year. And my challenge to myself was to hit pan. And as you can see, I did that, but I haven't used it a lot since then. And I loved using this during that project. So I'm going to try to just see how much I can use up of this. I'm not expecting myself to use up this whole pan because there's still a ton in here. But just to see how much I can use of it, mostly with the like mentality that I want to use it more because I really love it. I loved it on my face as like a blush slash contour. It was beautiful. And then I love it as an eyeshadow, but I just honestly never use it. But this is one of my oldest oldest products and I probably shouldn't keep it forever so I'm just gonna see how much I can get use out of this and have fun with it while it lasts also I am going to put in an eyeliner this is the Urban Decay Perversion Liner and for once I'm doing this genius thing that all of you guys do I am going to mark it on a piece of paper so I marked it from like holding the bottom of the pencil and then marking it like that um, so I have, I don't know, quite a bit of it, probably like three-fourths of this left, and I do like this pencil, but these Urban Decay ones are definitely not my favorite, and this is one of the, I think this is the last one I have, so I just want to kind of try to use that up. These last a long time, so I'm not sure if that'll actually happen, but just reminding myself to try to continue using it up. Okay, then I have a bunch of lip products. So the first ones are a bunch of these little samples and I'm keeping them in this little um, ring holder because I don't wear rings, so this ring holder is useless to me. And so I just have a bunch of these Urban Decay lip stick samples. They're Revolution and they're Sheer Revolution samples. I'm wearing this one right now, the Sheer Anarchy. Oh my God, it's beautiful, I love it. And I know that some of these colors are better for like summer and then summer better for fall and I think that this project is perfect because it goes over both summer and a little bit of fall well most of fall so I think that these colors I'll actually be able to use up all of them because they're varying in tones and deepnesses and brightnesses and it'll just be fun to play around with color a little more and I recently got this little brush from a Dior lip sample and I love it so it's just gonna sit in here with these and it's really easy to apply them then so I'm gonna try to use up all of those I also want to use up this Bite um, Beauty High Pigment Lip Pencil, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yep, and this is in Sable. And this is one of my favorite colors of these lip pencils. And I do want to use up all of the Bite Beauty lip pencils that I got last winter, but I probably can't <laughs> in this amount of time. So I'm just going to try to use this one up. And this is such a beautiful nudie pink. Like, I absolutely love this. And for some reason, I think that this was limited edition in that set, but if it wasn't, I would totally purchase this because it is 
so gorgeous. So I did the same thing with this. I just held the bottom of it and twisted it up and that's my mark. So I think this will be good for me to finally mark my progress <laughs> and track it so we can see how much I get use out of the the stick type of products. So that's good. Then I have two lip balm type things. So this is a lip gloss from Benefit. This is their California Kissin lip gloss and Sam actually gave this to me for Christmas I believe and I don't know if you can see through it but I'm like down to here. I made a marking too high and so I tried to scribble it and so this is the real marking down here. But this is basically like just a gloss that I keep in my purse that sometimes I use as like a lip balm type thing. So I use it here and there and I've used, I don't know, probably like this much of it. So if I do that, I don't know. I just want to kind of get rid of this. It's not my favorite thing and I just want to use it up and never really see it again. Then I have another lip balm and this is the Tony Moly Blueberry Lip Balm which I think that this packaging is so cute but I don't like this lip balm. So again I just want to get rid of it, use it up and get my money's worth out of it but then never see it again. So I have, I don't, re I don't know if it goes all the way down to the bottom but I've used up a lot of it so far. It's very like, it's very like it presses easily so I'm not sure if a lot is like pressed into the bottom or what but so I have no idea how long that this will take me if I'll be able to use it up or not but I use this at my vanity when I'm getting ready in the morning so I'll just have to remember to use that every day. Then I have three skincare products so I have 10 makeup kind of like I don't know if you would consider these makeup. Um, but then I have three like face skincare things. So first is an oil. This is my Pie Rose Hip by Regenerate Oil. So I have quite a bit of this left and I don't know if I'll actually be able to use all of this up but this is something that I wanna use up before the end of the year because when the VIB and like friends and family Sephora sales come around, I wanna replace this with the fresh Seaberry moisturizing face oil. So. I really want this to be gone before winter and be able to buy that fresh one with no like hesitation knowing that I don't have anything like it. So I want to see how much I can use of this and just rotate it out of my collection. I really do enjoy this but I like the fresh one more. Then I have two masks. First is this Dr. Jart Water Max Sleeping Mask, which is such a tongue twistery name, but I have only used like this much and then I have the rest of it. So I have no idea if, if this is like reasonable, but honestly, I never use this because I always forget that it exists. So I think that if I would remember to use it once a week, once every week and a half, every two weeks, whatever, I could use this up within the next four months. And I bought this last November or October, whatever it is, VIB sale. And I just wanted to like to use it. And let's see. Oh, it doesn't expire till 2016. So if I don't use it up, no big deal, but I just really wanna use it more. Like I don't wanna have this much left still at the end of the year, like I wanna actually use it. So seeing how much I still have in here was kind of eye-opening to me, and that's why I put it in this project. So at least I'll get use out of it, even if I don't use it up and I still have it for next year, that's fine, cause it was kind of expensive, I'm sure. But um, I do wanna just keep it in my rotation and remember to use it at least semi-regularly. So that is why I put this one in. And then my last product is the Tata Harper Resurfacing Mask. So I have this in my project because this is a very natural product and it can go bad. And I don't want it to go bad because I love it and it's expensive. So I would say I have about half of it. It's hard to like mark it because some is like up higher, some is like whatever. So. If I keep using it as often as I do, which is not very often, so maybe I need to up the usage a little bit, um, I do want to use this up before the end of this project just so it doesn't go bad and so I don't waste my money. And this is something I will 100% always repurchase, but I do want to make sure that I'm 
able to use it up before it goes bad. So that's why I have this in my project and yeah, definitely would repurchase that. So I believe that is everything. I am so excited, you guys. Like, I think these products are going to be fun to use. I think they're reasonable, at least to make progress on. Like, with any of these projects, I'm not mad at myself if I don't use every single one up or any up or whatever the case may be. But just reminding myself to use what I have is what I really get out of this project. And I'm thousands of times better than I was a year or two ago when I just never used what I have had. Now I'm constantly like in that mindset of, oh, well you bought that six months ago, a year ago, you should use that and like not have so much stuff that you can't use what use up what you own. So I'm excited to use this stuff. A lot of this stuff is thing are things that I love and I'm so excited I can't even speak and I just love this lip color. It's so pretty. So um, yeah, I think that's it. Definitely check out Tatum's video. I will have her link down below. She's amazing. She is so beautiful and fun and sweet and awesome. So um, thank you so much Tatum for thinking of this idea and then letting me know because it just made me so excited. And a lot of you did tell me that different projects are going around, which I must live under a rock. I don't know why I didn't know about all these things, but all of you guys gave like good ideas of ones that I could join, but I'm just so excited to join Tatum in this and do this. So if you guys want to join us too, please let me know and you can post on Instagram or make videos or whatever, but let us know in the comments and tell Tatum on her channel. And yeah, so I'm just so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you very soon. Bye!